What comes after 10.0.7? Evidently, Doran has an idea. The 10.0.1 reveals. Let's see what he thinks is coming. A uh, short video today, and then we're getting straight into Raid. Because we got an announcement to make later on, so we, we have more shit to talk about. But let's see what Doran has to say in terms of announcements. About 10.0.1. It is very likely that Azeroth has been corrupted for years right under our nose. Sorry, 10.1. The awakening will be complete soon. Remember those dwarves we've recently learned about from Oldaman a few months back? Well, a new data mine book info strongly hints that these guys were turned by the old gods and he'd be digging and essentially doing their job underground, corrupting oh, wow. Azeroth behind the guys? scenes for thousands and thousands of years. We've learned... A Shala is coming back from the Void Realm, possibly as soon as 10.1. We've recently lit five torches. The old stones are like literal torches right, that will the open the way for the yeah. old gods to return. The book says that the old gods are trying to use the rage of the primalists for themselves, and we know that the Lyricon has been sent underground already. It is also very likely Sergeras already knew all this stuff was happening, which is why he thought as a lost cause, and he attempted to destroy the it that? before the corruption spread. So let's... What the hell is that? I've never seen that before. Is there a freaking sword in the planet? It's crazy. So let's Probably really do something dig about into that. these brand new codes and see what is going to be happening in the very near future. If you guys are looking to buy Dragonflight or anything Warcraft related, uh, Gamevo has some amazing sales. Game Evo, check okay. out with my link. On top of uh, that, you can get software, gift cards, various games at crazy prices. Best of all, you can use my code Doron to add yet another discount to your yeah, purchase. So make sure to click my link yeah, below, I'm trolling. check out Gamevo, and grab some amazing <laughs> deals. They did do something about it, they ignored it, yeah. you heard of the almost <laughs> certain return of Queen Ashara in Dragonflight? If you haven't, I have an entire video covering every single line from the new book in great detail. The book called The Song of the Depths that was data mined about a week ago in 10.0.7, which <laughs> has huge hints for what is going to happen. Now, in this video, let's focus on the book, but only on some of the details combined with the previous hints and whispers, because legit... We may actually be set for some of the craziest changes so far. By pretty much every hint that we have received so far since the release Interesting of the expansion, stuff. it does seem like either Dragonflight is going to be the old god expansion, the biggest one, or they're using Dragonflight as a way to set up the next expansion that is going to be all about the old gods and the void. Now, the book itself was found in a Naga Cave in Forbidden Reach on the Dragon Isles, and it pretty much almost confirms that Queen Ashara is returning. What is really interesting, though, is that it says that she calls from beyond the Umbral Whale. As Ooh. we had recently learned, Umbra is the Void, which means she's actually in the Void Realm. Now, seeing that the Naga are writing this, they may not know that she might not be there willingly, but who knows what is really going on. What we were left with back in BFA was that Ashara attempted to betray the Zod, and he yeah. took her, and with this recent hint, I think we can guess he sent her into the Void Realm, and now she will once again this was a cool scene, I remember. a weapon. Now, what I, I thought that was badass how she woke up and then just got pulled in. Overlooked when I first read this data mine stuff, as I thought there was no way these dwarves were going to be super relevant, may actually just be the case. So, if you guys remember back from the Oldama documents a few months back, we learned yeah. about the so called Sector AR938 somewhere on Azeroth. We didn't know the exact location. Now, the Titan Force, oh, out of this. workforce, used to build, protect stuff by the Titan Keepers, and okay. the Titan Keepers sent a contingent of Earthen to investigate an anomaly, and as the Keeper state, these guys started to fall under the influence of the Curse of Flesh while they were doing their job, and they uh -huh. became almost identical to the dwarves. What is super interesting about this is that we know how the dwarves are created, we know all the history, they all share a common heritage. However, right. these so called Kaz Algar Earthen can absolutely nothing in common, no common heritage with the dwarves, and it is now very likely Damn. that they may have been New the allied first race? Titan Forged ever to get corrupted by the curse of flesh even before the curse officially spread which is of course old god magic now in the book we got this super interesting quote even now the harbinger gathers the children of the first flesh to reclaim what was lost they must remember their vows and serve those to whom they owe fealty while oh, they toil away in the deep places if you're not understanding what i'm playing here is that these earthen fell under old god corruption they vowed to serve the old gods and they have been been toiling away in the deep places for thousands of years to essentially continue where the old gods left off or to work on a mission the old gods gave. Damn. We can't know 
at the moment, of course, what is exactly going on, but a lot of hints right now say that Ereticron is the so-called Harbinger that is constantly being referred to. He retreated somewhere, hidden away to gather strength, and we also have this line. The Harbinger speaks of a primal power that seeks the end of order. Such rage can be bent to serve our ends. This is one of the most obvious quotes you can figure out from this entire book. It is pretty straightforward. The primal power would be the primalists and the elementals that are trying to break the titan grasp over Azeroth. We've heard this time and time again across the Dragon Isles. The old gods <laughs> figure this can be useful and are trying to use this anger for their own purpose. And this is most likely that bargain that Eridicon made ages ago that he even hid from the primal incarnates themselves. Now, we learned that yeah, er Eridicron seems like the, the guy who knows everything. And the other primal kind of just seem like they've been told that they should be angry. They, they, they need to be angry with everything that's going on, and they're just kind of following his orders. Good morning, Dipnia. Also How is it going? Other Queen of Bits. Beings, such as the Jardine Elders. However, let's once again look back at the dwarves. So, if Redicron is the harbinger, he is gathering the children of the First Flesh. First Flesh would imply that they first succumb to the Old God Curse. Initially, I thought that these dwarves are just going to be an Easter egg type thing, maybe some flavored dwarf lore that no one really cares about, but we may actually be getting Old God dwarves like an entire Titan Forge race that has been doing the Old God's bidding. Keep in mind, the Alderman document states yeah. that they went to Sounds a like strange some. anomaly, and this is where they got corrupted just completely unexpectedly. <laughs> in my opinion, I think I this it. might be the place where the old gods have been corrupting Azeroth, like the epicenter of their corruption. They might not have accomplished that mission fully, and then they corrupted these guys to set up the ground until they're free, so they can come in to finish the job. We have even further quotes that attest to this. As one storm recedes, another rises. The torches have been lit. I mean, this is the... Old quote we attributed to yeah. everything and their mother, the famous five keys to open our way, five torches to light our path, five lanterns now darken, the flames they seek will light the master's way. Now, I am... Oh, damn. You know what? I kind of wonder if that, at the beginning of that cinematic, is supposed to hint at something. Although there's only four torches here. But that's interesting. I didn't really think they about seek it. Will Light they the do have tor way. torches now, to light his way, technically. I am aware we've attributed this to everything that we could think of, but seriously, I mean, just look at the five old stones. They're literally, like, Yeah, I think the old stones are the torches. Five torches that we have quite literally recently lit. Then we have even it's more lit. interesting stuff. A dark heart left broken awaits the taking. This could be anything. Personally, I could even see this being Yashiraj, as we've seen his yeah, we've quite seen his literal heart. dark heart. <laughs> However, it is also very likely talking about Azeroth itself. In Old God's narrative, the dark heart, the one they're creating, has been left broken because they were just about to finish the job, and now it awaits the taking. The taking is imminent. Then we have the most interesting quote out of all of these. Mm. When these things come to pass, the Harbinger will fulfill the final prophecy and complete the awakening. By the goals that we know, the final prophecy has always been to corrupt Azeroth, to turn her into a void being, a void titan. But right. this line, complete the awakening, really implies that they almost finished the job, then they were imprisoned, set back, and now they will finally complete it. This also brings us to the old Ilginot quote. At the hour of her third death, she will usher in our coming. I mean, these deaths may not be literal, but we've had the first near-death experience with the Will of Eternity 10,000 years ago. Second would be the Sword of Sargeras, and now the third sort of what? would be the events that are about to happen that we're about to see. All of this could also bring us back to the Sword of Sargeras and explain why he tried to brute force it. As you may know, back when he was a titan, Sargeras realized that the old gods can only be defeated by force, and he just right. split an infested planet in half to destroy it, and I guess he actually succeeded. What's now, that no, you are not too late on real blue. thought there may be a more gentle way, but maybe that was not the case. Sargeras could have been aware of this prophecy about what is to happen, and he attempted to just finish the job, but we essentially saved Azeroth inadvertently helping the old gods to continue their mission. Lastly, in this book, there is also the quote that is very interesting. A hunger lost to the ages will be reclaimed. Eridicon uh, was shit. mentioned to have this mysterious hunger, the super dark hunger. And the most well-known character that had Galacron. this hunger is also Galacron. Now, this right. could either imply that we might see the awakening of Galacron, but the wording says reclaimed, which could imply that Eridicon may get this hunger himself by reclaiming the lost legacy of Galacron. So ultimately, by the way things are what set What if he goes back and like... Like eats Galacron's skull or something. You know, we love to do that. Wow, people love to eat each other's skulls. That shit's happened before. Uh, so maybe maybe he goes back and like reclaims Gallic part of Galacron's power. 
and he I becomes like the next guy. Maybe Galakron. actually getting a full on old gun expansion in Dragon Fight, but if we could see a Galakron, the Riddicron, as the final boss of the Dragon Fight, well, maybe. the next expansion may be all about the old gods and the ultimate battle against them. We have the hints for a new potential. Maybe, maybe we get a Galakron ish, uh, you know, final boss. And then, uh, you know, we're like, oh, this old god influence is all here and shit. What's going on? Where's this coming from? Enter other side of Azeroth. You know? And then and then we venture over there. We get our pirate expansion slash exploration expansion to the other side of Azeroth. That could be where all this is going. Old god continent, so this might be the place where the corruption is about to happen. Keep yeah, in mind, of course, all of these are just heavy hints at the moment, so I can definitely really go multiple ways. It's super hard to speculate when you have like 10 yeah. different hints, because in order to make a point, you need to assume a bunch of them are true, but maybe one may not be, and then it just completely messes the speculation. However, what I could totally see happening is a Galakron type Eridicron as the final yeah. boss of this expansion, which yeah, would I can complete see this the Dragon Isles and this expansion, while all the ground has been set up for the next Old God Void expansion, and this imminent go. awakening of Azeroth. Yes. Thank you for watching. Check out Could We Get the Scout Crusade rejoining the Alliance by clicking on the screen and check out the Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Yeah, I, I like this video. I actually think this was one of his uh, his less speculative speculative videos. We know that uh, we know our boy does a lot of speculation at times and sometimes he goes off the edge and just talks about shit that I don't even think is going to happen. Um, but this one seemed more realistic, not gonna lie, more realistic, okay.